Guizhou's greatest appeal to me is the plurality of culture. 以高速公路、高速铁路为重要的载体的话，使得贵州能够融入到咱们整个经济体系当中去。I think Guizhou opening this national park is one of the few ways that they can really protect some of those areas. 我觉得贵州省会因为发的存在变成一个国际天文的一个交流中心。So now, Guizhou is using this experience that was for poverty alleviation, for rural revitalization, to other industries. It felt that Guizhou, much like Shenzhen, carried the sort of the model or the blueprint for the evolving stage. I think it's very enriching to experience Guizhou, and one should try to experience from as many angles as possible. My general impression on Guizhou is it's one of the places in China that, and also in the world that I favor the most. Guizhou has had a great development over the last 20 years, very fruitful revitalization of the ancient local traditions of all of these minority groups in Guizhou for the, the nurturing of philosophical thought and the efforts to create a center for young Ming thought. So I've made so many friends there. It's uh, really a place to go, also for international um, tourists. When I visited Guizhou province in 2005, I also got attentive on um, Wang Yaming and his thought, and um, I started to become very interested in it. Actually, Wang Yaming was already a high-ranking official um, at, at the imperial court. He seems to have been a very um, a moral, also moral-driven person, also in, 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 in this political context. I think he had handed in some petition uh, to complain about uh, an, a, another uh, high-ranking official who was not um, behaving in the way that they should in their positions. But this letter that he had sent to the emperor got into the wrong hands. And so the story goes that actually, in the end, uh, uh, Wang Yaming was banned to Guizhou province. And at the time, Guizhou province was quite uh, a kind of a remote place in comparison to other Chinese uh, provinces. He finally arrived uh, in uh, a small outpost uh, called Longchang, so like a, a, a station, a very small a station village at the time. So it's in Xiuwen County, and this is very close to uh, the provincial capital of, of Guizhou, uh, Guiyang, so like about 30 kilometers from uh, Guiyang. But um, uh, actually, we might say that is a kind of secluded phase in his life, it did him good in the sense that he was not indulged in, in any other affairs, so he could think very deeply about his own philosophy, his prior path, his prior development. Wyoming doesn't really separate between the rational thinking and uh, also the feeling. The heart-mind is, is one unity uh, of um, empathic resonance and rational thinking. And um, uh, what he says and what he claims is that uh, our personal experience through the subjective perspective of the heart-mind is actually identical with the self-organizing principle of the universe. And then Wang Yaming tells us that actually the knowing and actively going through certain situations are actually two sides of the same coin. Or a true knowledge or true knowing as a process has to be related to a valid action on the other side. Otherwise, it's not true knowledge. And Wang Yaming says that actually the good knowing is the appearance of this inherent self-organizing process of the universe in our human consciousness, in our mind. And he says that we have direct access to this good knowing in every 
second of our life. Although we are not self-reflective, so we forget that we have this access. But he says we can always turn to that source of the universe and of life, which is in ourselves. And from there, we always find a proper answer how to deal with a particular situation, a particular problem. Of course, Wyoming is um, on one side um, presenting us with the essence of Chinese thinking. Um, there are not only Confucian elements, but he was also able to absorb useful ideas and elements from uh, Buddhist and Taoist thinkers and even other philosophies from Mohist uh, philosophy, for example, which he criticized and then also transformed by criticism. From there, he was able to reintroduce the idea of universal love, how to realize a society which is uh, following this ideal of creating uh, circumstances in the family, but also the wider social um, context that further universal well-being, happiness of the people as a whole. These ideas have been uh, followed by uh, Wang Yaming uh, from a Confucian angle, but a very advanced Confucian angle. Wang Yaming had a deep impact on Chinese civilization, of course, but also on other East Asian um, uh, nations. Because if we take the example of Japan, it is kind of the, the binding element between the pre-modern phase of Japanese history and uh, modern um, development. So the westernization somehow was underfitted or based on ideas uh, which can be traced back to the Japanese Wang Yaming school. I have also visited Lungchang, where Wang Yaming has lived, and um, also in, 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 in Shouwen County, they have um, uh, developed certain ways to uh, nurture the cultural memory of Wang Yaming and um, there's a famous cave for example, Yangming Cave, where Wang Yaming has lived and uh, you could also find the calligraphy of important people of the 20th century. At first sight it seems a little bit not so significant but uh, as it is the case very often these small locations, these um, parts of local cultures, they have been very important starting points for uh, monumental developments in Chinese history and on, also on, a, on, a, on the scale of global history in the long run. I think that Yangming culture can be a starting point to develop these forms of um, cultural economy, forms of tourism which make people more attentive towards nature, towards themselves, which provides starting points for personal self-cultivation, development, these kind of things. I think it's important to, to raise the awareness of the descendants of, of people who have nurtured these, these intangible heritages for thousands of years to continue these intangible heritages. I think it's very interesting to see here these efforts to keep these particular traditions, for example, of creating beautiful embroidery or, or, or silver jewelry and, and or wooden masks and whatever kind of great traditions there are, to connect these traditions and forms of art and culture with modern ways of, of creating um, e-commerce based markets. So to integrate the yeah, modern technology, e-commerce, uh, the uh, internet uh, with these traditions to, to provide a market, a China-wide market or even global market for, for these products to keep these traditions alive. To me personally, Guizhou is maybe the greatest place in China. <laughs> All of these complementary elements that make the life uh, so livable in Guizhou province it can be experienced on the spot. You just have to go there. <laughs> you just have to 
to travel to Guizhou, just uh, enjoy and experience uh, all of these aspects. And I think it's very enriching to experience uh, Guizhou. And one should try to experience from as many angles as possible. A very enriching place in the world, inside China, which is meaningful for your own life experience, for your own personal development.